Have you ever wondered what it would be like if friction didn't exist? Would we be skating around all over the place or just slipping over all of the time? It's a popular question which many people have tried to answer, though ultimately, in my opinion, they've all got it wrong. And I'm gonna tell you why. Friction is a resistive force that opposes motion. When any two things, be they solid surfaces, fluid layers, or material elements come into contact, which basically means friction acts all the time and is the bane of physicists trying to make incredibly precise measurements. In fact, I can only think of one instance of friction being completely absent, and that is within the bulk of a superfluid, because that quantum state of matter has zero viscosity. But perhaps you can think of another example. If you can, let me know in the comments below, though I probably think, even though it may be immeasurably small, technically friction will exist in that instance. We tend to divide friction up into five categories with rather snigger-inducing names. I mean, seriously, who, who came up with those? The categorization is done by the macroscopic types of friction, which is where friction is most relevant. And it's at this macroscopic scale that most people try to answer the question, what if friction didn't exist? But to truly answer that question, you have to understand friction at the microscopic and even atomic scales. You see, friction is not a fundamental force. It's an emergent phenomenon that comes about from having lots of stuff, matter, around. Now we know, even on macroscopic scales, that rougher, more bumpy things tend to exhibit more friction. And that's the case as you get smaller and smaller as well, because even the smoothest of surface is never completely smooth. There'll be atomic irregularities. If you want, you can picture it as trying to drive a car with square wheels across a road that has a million sharp potholes within it. But as I alluded to, that's still not even the full picture because at the atomic scale, Friction is essentially the electromagnetic force and quantum mechanics at play. In any material, electrons will occupy a probability cloud or orbitals around their atomic nuclei. These are dictated by the quantum solutions to the electromagnetic force. The probability clouds of each individual electron aren't allowed to overlap one another. Pauli's exclusion principle tells us that electrons cannot be within the exact same state. This is the reason why matter cannot pass through itself. It's why atoms which are almost completely empty space push against one another. Now imagine having lots and lots of atoms near one another. You can imagine that the distribution of all of these charges is very complicated and can lead to some very weird interactions. At any given instant, the electric charge will not be a nice, smooth, even distribution. There'll be bits where electrons are slightly more clumped together, other bits where they're further apart. And this can lead to secondary interactions. They can lead to very small forces of either attraction or repulsion or even chemical bonds between atoms that get close enough together. Add that up over an immense number of atoms, and that's what we call friction. So you see, the only way for friction to not exist is if there is absolutely no electromagnetic force within existence. But if we remove the electromagnetic force, then atoms can't form, to go on and create molecules and build up so big that they eventually form you. So in a world where friction doesn't exist, nothing really exists. Thank you so much for watching that video on friction. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, and click some of the videos over there. Cheers.